Okay, um, hi everybody. Um, uh, my name is Joshua. I, I actually um, I like creative coding, so um, I also organize creative coding meetup like once every two months. Um, I work for Zendesk and um, I dabble with, uh, among many things, JavaScript. So, um, so the topic today is JS1K. Um, it's not standard, it's not ES 2015 or 16 or 17. Um, but um, oh, does this move? Sorry, this is the first time I'm, I'm trying the presenter notes. Mm, let me see if this works. Okay. Where's my mouse? And um, I actually gave a talk um, at Singapore JS um, three years ago. And uh, I actually went to scroll at all the events, and that was actually like the third uh, Singapore, the top JS. And um, it's quite amazing to see how big the community has grown. I think there was just about 20 people then. And, um, and I was wondering whether I should you know, talk about that again. Um, but um, you could actually just go look at the slides. I, I think it's actually pretty good. Like, I don't even know if I, I could present you know, the, as well as the previous time. Um, but um, so, so, so this year, um, I picked up a new spot. It's called free diving. And uh, you know, suddenly, I, I thought of free diving and, you know, what, um, and, and what I think of JS1K has a couple of similarities. So um, today's talk is you know, why I think you know, um, free diving and code golfing has similarities. And, um, and with your time, we will look at some demos of actually uh, examples of uh, you know, code golfing and JS1K. So the, the first thing that uh, comes to mind is that um, free diving is basically uh, taking one breath and then going underwater, right? And, and of course, it lasts until your breath is up and you, you surface, you know, or you drown. So, so, <laughs> so, so you know, um, that, that's a clear limit, right? Your limit is one breath hold. Uh, you know, if you are, if you are, you are breathing from, you know, um, an air tank, that's scuba diving. That's not free diving. Um, it kind of reminds me um, of what JS1K is, which is, the rule is that you have to submit a code, you know, a, web, uh, a piece of code which is less than 124 bytes, which is um, uh, um, it's smaller than most images, and uh, probably the amount of text on the page, right? Um, so this example of what, like, if, if you want to know how uh, how big is uh, one thousand and twenty-four bytes of code. So um, let me just try clicking on this. All right. So yeah, this this is this is like pretty like crazy. Uh, it, it's it's um, um it's it's written by uh, Martin Kepper, and he was here in Singapore, I think, two years ago or so. Um, so um, so I. So there's some history, you know, like free diving is like, it's, it's kind of like a pretty new spot. And, uh, but there's actually some history, like there, there are divers in, in Japan and, and in Korea, and, uh, and, and it's actually the women who actually dive into the water to, you know, to pick like uh, pearls or seaweeds, right? Um, um, and, and so uh, the, the background around like JS1K, I, I, I think the, the history is uh, around the demo scene, which is a subculture in, in Europe where um, you know, people gather to try to, to, to present, you know, uh, to, to work on a demo which, are, you know, which, which has limits, right? And, and also there's history, like, uh, especially if, if, you're, if you're a gamer, like, um, in, in the old days, you have really limited memory and space, and so in order to to create a game that you you know that, that you want to be, you have to resort to all kind of hacks. So kind of the demo scene still you know has this uh, culture in in that. Um, 
I'm not sure if um, it's, you probably can't see, but this is a website which has a listing of all the demos that uh, you can find. And, and you can see um, over here is actually you can see something like from like 16 bytes and uh, you know for 1K, 2K, 4K. And, and the right side is uh, the list of all kind of platforms, all kind of consoles. Right. So um, free diving can, can can be taught as you know as as a competitive sport, right? And and there are actually different categories. So like the, the picture on the left is like um, you, you can see um, that the, the, the diver is using a mono fin, and on the right is like it's almost like swimming without fins, right? So um, um, so I I actually learned um, under Ida, which is um, it's a, it's a non-profit organization with, and, and they, they hold all kinds of competitions, including like no limits, right? Um, so it is somewhat similar to the, the demo scene competitions where you know, there are different categories, um, like 4K, 1K, you know, music, um, you know, demo, 64K. Uh, there's a, it's an interesting article like uh, why 64K kind of got discontinued. Um, somewhat similar to like no limits is actually considered too dangerous because you you take a weight and you go as deep into the sea, you know, in, in a very short amount of time. That is actually um, not really like officially, I'm not sure, sanctioned, right? Um, so among like different languages, um, there's also like just for JavaScript alone, there there, there are different categories like um, 144 bytes. Um, it's basically tweet size, you know, because you have like 140 characters. So basically, the code that you know that, that you write can actually be tweeted out. And of course, uh, JS 1K. And uh, if you like games, you know, you can you, you can go for JS 13K and like demo JS, which is I think that's um, you know create uh, more kind of demos. So I, I think this is um, uh, this was the f you know the first impression like. What, a year ago, you know, if you, if you ask me if I, I would try free diving, it's like, you know, that, that's crazy, right? Because like, I, I almost dropped when I was young. Like, why would I want to, you know, to to experience the feel of uh, drowning again? And and in some ways, JS one K, it's it's a way like, you know, you, you look at that demo, the the spinning globe, right? And you say, why would you write it in in that way, right? Which you don't understand what the code is, and you know, it's like, um, it's it's pretty like um, intense, right? Um, so actually, there there are techniques to, you know, for, for you to to get better, you know, to um, to to actually overcome the fears and, um, um, and and to and to actually enjoy it rather than uh, you know um, being um, being afraid of it. So uh, in, in free diving, I mean, relaxation is very important, right? Because if you have a relaxed mind and body, then you use less oxygen. Your heart beats slower, and uh, you know, you'll be able to last longer um, uh, underwater. So, um, so, so I'm, um, I'm, uh, Matthew Henry, Henry, he's like one of like, uh, he has a lot of like 1K demos, and, and I asked him like what what's in his mind like you know why why would he write this right? He would take maybe three months to come out with a demo, and and he says like and I asked him where he gets his inspiration from. So he, he says like you know the inspiration that like, it comes from, like um, it, you know from anywhere right? You know it could be let's say a, a, a music video, and and I, I think I came to the conclusion that um, that is it is uh, you have to think like you have to think about what you want to do. Right, you have to focus, and uh, you know, um, and and not to think about those limits, right? So, so the idea is that you can actually create like a beautiful demo or game or interactive app, you know, or just like generative art. So uh, you don't have to be constrained, like oh, you know, there's this amount of size, and and you can, you know, you can only maybe do like a simple uh, multiplication uh, code, right? So, um, so learning how to free free dive, you have to learn how to breathe, right? And you know to make use of like your, your lungs and you know, you, and um, so so I think the same goes for um, code golfing. And uh, I you know I was lazy to prepare new slides, so I thought this was you know you know the the, the points that I gave three years ago is still pretty valid, right? So instead of doing Writing while you can just condense all the 
you know, you don't have to declare them, right? Um, you can you can actually declare them as a function parameters. Um, you can see the different ways of writing loops, and for um, semi semicolon is the fastest. Um, you can write loops uh, increment in, in a shorter way, right? Um, yes, you can actually abuse globals, um, you know, and uh, short circuiting. Instead of doing if, you can actually like a and or, or you know use use the logical uh, conditions. Instead of uh, declaring an array, you can just split it from a string, right? Um, yeah, you can abuse again a bitwise operations. Um, I use double teter, but uh, I think over the years I prefer to actually just do um, uh, pipe zero. Right? That will convert that into an integer. Um, yeah, so use all the minification uh, techniques that you have. Um, okay, so let me go back to this quickly. So equalization, when you go deeper, right, the, the, the water pressure will cause you know, your, your eardrums to cave in. and. Uh, you will want to kind of like you need you need to know how to like um, equalize so that so that uh, the air inside can actually you you know you don't burst your eardrums, and uh, so so that's the thing you know when you're hitting a limit of like one or two four bytes right you have to kind of like trim some stuff off you know and, and if you want to add a feature you have to make sure okay it's not going that or you have to find ways to actually reduce your file size. Um, this is the father of uh, free diving and. And he basically found a way that you can actually pack more air into your, into your lungs. It's not re recommended for beginners because it may uh, injure your lungs. So uh, fortunately for, you know, for JS1K, you don't have to injure yourself. I just use this called rack pack. Right? <laughs> um, and, and, and to start off, right, you have to get into the water from the surface. And uh, you do that with a duck dive. So uh, I, I would say if you, are, you, know, if you want to try it, you know, uh, you do, for JS1K, just download the shim. Right. Um, so, so, so this is the. So, so this is the boilerplate that that, that they give it to you, and uh, you basically you save this file and you write your demo here. All right. So that's how you get started. So, so, so the, if you're asking like why, why are you doing that, right? Like, um, if if you need a reason to kn to know why you would like doing this, is that of course you you have you are pushing our limits, right? Because you you know that it's not easy to actually you know to do like 124 bytes, and sometimes with actually limits constraints, you you can actually be creative, right? Um, I think a lot has been uh, it's been trending again about like vanilla JS, right? And like zero bytes framework. So actually, this is a perfect chance for you to. You know, to, to, to try doing JS1K and you you learn how to like operate maybe with the with the DOM directly and uh, you know uh, get rid of all your framework and libraries and uh, I think it's you know it's it's actually quite fun um, you know just take a take a couple of days and try it out so uh, if you are interested like you know just uh, there is a couple of links like uh, you, you can this this are pretty uh, people who are like really Really crazy, like the, the stuff they do. So you should go like study them if you if you want to. Um, these are historic um, works. For example, this in 2010 in, in a 2010 uh, JS1K competition. Uh, let me just close all of this. Yeah, they, this is basically a chess game, like written in 124 bytes, right? Uh, this this is this this is one of my favorite. Uh, it's actually a game, and, and you see the code is over there. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, and and yeah, and 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 yeah, and and essentially, there's uh, lots of explanation, uh, you know, lots of uh, learning points. Um, this in in the 2012, there's uh, the the love team. So this is one of my favorites. Like, you can actually like run it like a like a screensaver. Yeah. And okay, and, and the way um, you can do so this is on the JS one case side, right? Um, it's not maybe um, that obvious, but you will see the demo details. So if you click on like the demo details, right? 
um, you, you would like find like some details about the about the entry, about who did it, whether here's a blog post. Uh, that's the code which you can you know that you can see. And sometimes those are usually like minified and packed. So you know they, they will give you the original source code and you can kind of like study it. Um, this was pretty awesome. This was the year which I and this again is almost like a screensaver. It's like really crazy stuff. So um, you, you can watch that for 10 minutes, uh, which we don't <laughs> have time to, to, to do that. Uh, yeah, so a lot more like awesome stuff, right? Uh, if, if you need like a simple way to get started, just you know, git clone one of this, uh, just, uh, like JS 1K starter, you know, so it may come with GUP or you know, some modern tools. Um, this, um, I had like kind of like a workflow with, a, with, a, with like a node. I believe a, a node you know, process, you know, to, to just kind of like minify it and then squash it, tell you the amount of bytes that you use, and so you have like a faster um, feedback loop. Um, it's probably outdated because I haven't been touching it. Um, red pack, uh, that's what you want to do, like to go like twenty percent more. And uh, in case you never get anything, like just visit JS One K. Right um, and. Okay, so oh, I think I should do 2016. So these are all the past uh, past years uh, entries, and uh, the one that if you are interested in should be 2016. Uh, the deadline will be I think 12 March. Um, so you have like a couple more weekends to play around with this. Um, you won't see the entry on the right because I'm on the left here, uh, but you can see like the. <laughs> The, the entries like uh, which which already that like, some people have submitted, so um, okay let's just randomly click on one. Yeah. So yeah, so my time is up. And thank you. Three years ago, um, if so, if you look at Nigeria's one k So this was the this like my kind of like a tiny wings clone, which I tried to. Yeah. So um, it's actually yeah, it's it's actually um, you will have fun doing that like. Uh, um, I, I think in, in my uh, slides. Uh, um, okay, I can. Okay, so, so that's how I kind of like pick up like. I look at the previous winning entries, like you, know, you kind of like look at the techniques that they use, right? And then um, think about like what you want to do. You want do you want to like make a little game? At the time, like I you know like I thought Tiny Wings was actually uh, pretty cool, and you know, I wanted to try making a game. And I tried to do that in JS One K, so it was like <laughs> it's pretty challenging. Um, um, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it can keep you up like at night, like four, <laughs> four thirty, and and like every time you say, okay, I want to add this feature, you know, then you oh oh, it's like two bytes more. Then okay, I got to you know try to compress it again. So yeah, that's that, like the equalization of <laughs> free diving. Okay. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, you can just stop them later. Yeah.